So what we need is a 9 or a 12 volt transformer. Um, you can get these at junk stores, somewhere in your own junk drawers at home. Or like me, I went to Chimera and found a whole boxes of different voltage, 9 and 12. The 12 faster because it's got more oomph. So the first thing you want to do is a razor knife. Cut away so that it's come. if you slip, it doesn't come into your body and cut you open. You want to open this up so that you can split it. And I don't know, how long is that? How long would you say? A foot or so? Split the wires open. Now, I hope I can tell on this white one. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you can see, but this is grooved. That is most likely our positive. Usually the positive has black and white stripes or grooves like this, some kind of marking on it, whereas your negative will be plain. I'm going to have wire strippers here. I'm going to go with the littlest hole up here, and I'm going to just do a hair at a time because the wire is fragile and can get ripped pretty easily. So I'm just going to clear enough that I can wrap this around the screw. Oh, there's one item that isn't out here that we need. Screwdriver. So that's probably enough. So I'm going to twist this because it will make my life a lot easier having it nice and organized like that. I want to remember this is my positive, so I'm going to put the red alligator clip on that. It's a visual reminder to me that this is the positive. So I just put a little bend in there, and we're going to run this into this tube and have a little that little prongy part come out, theoretically, the hole. See that? Look at that. It's magic. And then this gets wrapped. Actually, that screw could be open. That's why the screwdriver appeared. Wrap this around a couple of times. And then tighten it down. Now this used to have, and I'll show you on the negative, a little thing like this. You want to put that on first. And then when you wire it, it slides up on this part over here. But I'm going to slather this with um, electrical tape, so I don't really care that much. But if you want to use them, do it before you put the unit on because you can't get it back. You can't get it on otherwise. Alright, making my little loopy. The black tube is already threaded on. I'm going in. And I like to wrap in the clockwise direction, so when you tighten it down, you don't unwrap. Tighten down. Slide your little black doohickey up. And your red, if you had one. So I like to cover the little screw. This isn't, like, absolutely necessary, but... Kind of holds everything together a little more, especially if you're going to be experiencing a lot of use. So you want to do that to both positive and negative. And now you have an etching machine.